it's 7.30 in the morning, it's Sunday, it's like August the 23rd, 2014. So all that geoengineering and chemtrails in the sky, that's obviously like not condensation. September the 3rd, 2013. You, you're just watching a chemtrail being laid from a jet from the sky. Do you see the way it's jagged and stopping the starting? It's 9.20 on the 29th of July 2014 and there's contrails all over London and I've just seen an aeroplane, it's about to come into view and um, so I'm going to wait for that, there it is as you can see it started There. And it's finished. So we have terrorism in the skies above London. If you think that's a contrail, you really need to check your head. Here I am in sunny Watford on Thursday the 26th of September 2013 and I spotted something in the sky yeah you've guessed it it's a chemtrail right but I just had to stop because the detail on it was so ridiculous what you expect me to think that this is water vapor <laughs> what is that like a vapor trail twisting away there that has nothing whatsoever to do with water come on if it was water, it would just be evaporating, like the water out of a kettle or something. Or it would just be looking like a little cloud. But look at that, that is just like a serpent of death flying through the fucking sky. Geoengineering and chemtrails all over the Watford skyline. I'm just going to focus on this a little bit more for you, because that's just like...
Monday 2 o'clock, February the 3rd, 
The sky is full of chemtrails this morning. It's called geoengineering. It's called weather modification. It's, it's Thursday the 26th of September 2013. <laughs> The police just going to go and arrest the pilots for dropping all these dirty chemtrails. You can see the planes turning off and off their trails as they fly through the sky. But basically, we're living in fucked up times. And I don't like it, to be honest. I'd like blue skies, clear skies, none of this. Geoengineering on a massive scale all over the world as far as I can tell. What a waste of time.
My name is Ulrich Lohmann. I'm a professor for atmospheric physics here at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, and my special field is clouds. We know that flight traffic is growing by about 5%, and because flight traffic increases, it is also important to perform measurements of aircraft engine exhaust. We know that aircraft engine exhausts contain soot and particulate matter, but we actually wanted to know the chemical composition, and such measurements are very rare. Two years ago, we had the possibility to measure aircraft engine exhaust at Zurich Airport, together with the Federal Office of Civil Aviation. And there, we could basically measure the chemical composition of aircraft engine exhaust from certain turbines. And what we found were mainly soot particulates, pure carbon that is also emitted by cars. But we also found metals. In the aircraft engine exhaust, we detected 16 different metals. Among others, we also found aluminum and barium. And as I said, they come from the kerosene, from engine lubricant oil. And aluminum can also come from the turbines. We made measurements from the jet fuel as well and noticed in the range of parts per millions that the jet fuel contained aluminum and barium. Aluminum and barium in the jet fuel? For over 10 years, this was, according to scientists, entirely impossible and absurd. And now it seems that these toxic substances are really dispersed into the atmosphere without any regulations. With the rise in air traffic, these substances will increasingly affect the environment and our health, unless public authorities will finally act in the public interest to stop this pollution for the benefit of life on planet Earth. It is in any case urgent to regulate aircraft engine exhaust.